Hello everybody. Uh, today's our uh, topic is layers of anterior abdominal wall. We can see here from the deeper courses and the coastal margin and up to the pelvic cavity. This is the whole area is an abdomen. The anterior layer of the abdomen uh, will be discussed uh, today. It is a large area and only the anterior layer of the abdomen will be discussed uh, uh, these lectures and other lecture will be continued gradually. So first of all, uh, we can see here the layers of anterior abdominal wall. Total eight layers present in the anterior abdomen. Uh, there, uh, first of all, is skin, superficial fascia, then three important muscles, external oblique muscles and fascia, internal oblique muscles and fascia, transversus abdominis muscle and fascia, then three, another structure, fascia transversalis, extraperitoneal connective tissue and parietal peritoneum. So these layers are very very important for the abdomen and it provides supports of the abdomen and it is the main strength of the abdomen. So we can see again, first of all is skin, then superficial fascia, then three important muscles. These are very very important for abdomen. They are external oblique muscles and fascia, internal oblique muscles and fascia the transversus abdominis muscles and fascia and three and other structures they are fascia transversalis extraperitoneal tissue and parietal peritoneum so first of all the skin and superficial fascia so we can see here this area it is the skin and after the skin there is another structure we can see in the cut section uh, this is the fatty area the yellow part it is fatty part and it is the superficial fascia superficial fascia goes uh, gets uh, two important structures uh, they are superficial and deep superficial uh, fatty layer and deep fibrous layer you can see the fatty layer of superficial fascia and after the fatty layer there is fibrous part of superficial fascia. you can see here the fibrous part of superficial fascia so skin and superficial fascia it is the most superficial structure of the anterior abdominal wall then three important muscles among them first of all external optic muscle and fascia we can see here the green color muscle it is the external oblique muscle they arises from the leaves and other structure up to the lower part of the abdomen and from the lateral part they runs to the medial part so the external oblique muscle it uh, runs from the lateral side to the medial side and close to the uh, bit line it converts into uh, the fibrous structure which is the fascia of the external oblique muscle so external oblique muscle and its fascia it is one of the muscle layer we can see this picture this is the external oblique muscle they arises from here and runs to the middle and finally converted into the fibrous part called fascia external oblique fascia then we can see uh, the next layers of muscle is internal oblique muscle and fascia. We can see here this is the internal oblique muscle. This is the internal oblique muscle. We can see here this is the internal oblique muscle. And the fiber direction is uh, somewhat oblique like this. So this, uh, this is the internal oblique muscle and uh, when it runs to the midline, it converts, uh, converts uh, uh, into the fibrous structure and it's also called the internal oblique fascia. So we can see the uh, another uh, muscle, this is transversus abdominis muscle and its fascia. We can see in the first picture, the uh, cut section, uh, mm, the superficial cut section, this is called external oblique muscle and from below the external oblique muscle there is another muscle it is internal oblique muscle and finally this is a transversus abdominis muscle we can see in the second picture the transversus abdominis muscle uh, this fibers is direct transverse okay. totally transverse so it is called transversus abdominis muscle and it also when goes to the mid uh, close to the middle it also converted into fibrous structure and it form the transversus abdominis uh, fascia so these three muscles is very very important for the anterior abdominal wall to maintain its strength 
So the next layer is fascia transport cells and extra peritoneal tissue. We can see in the first and second picture. In the first picture, the yellowish layer, the yellowish fibrous layer. We can see here it is the fascia transport cells and uh, behind this fascia transport cell is there is another structure we can see it is extra peritoneal fascia or extra peritoneal tissue they are very close and finally we can see the parietal peritoneum or peritoneum which is very close to the gut and uh, another uh, structure of the peritoneum another layer of the peritoneum visceral peritoneum which is directly uh, attached to the gut so these are the layers of the anterior abdominal wall it is very important and this knowledge is very important for us uh, uh, to treat the abdominal disease. So finally, we can um, quickly recap the layers. First of all, skin and superficial fascia. Then three important muscles, external oblique muscles and fascia. Then internal oblique muscles and its fascia. Then transversal septimus muscles and fascia. And another three structure, fascia transversalis, extraperitoneal tissue and parietal peritoneal. So thank you all.